you really cannot make this stuff up anymore. Like, honestly, if we could write a book about Disney and their terrible woke politics, the terrible way of handling stories from our childhood, I don't think anybody could have imagined doing what they've been doing. And we wouldn't have been able to make a book. It just wouldn't have been able to happen. But here we go. Looking at this today, it was announced that Disney, and they're blaming this on the, the actor strike, mind you, they have announced that they are pushing their Snow White movie to 2025, an entire year later than when it was supposed to come out. Now, obviously, this, this has absolutely nothing, not a single thing to do with all the controversy surrounding the movie, right? No, not even a little bit. However, they did decide to give us a little taste, a little tease of what's to come in this, you know, epic film of theirs, Snow White. And here it is. Right here. Like, look at this. Like, let's see if I can pull this picture up a little bit bigger for you. Look at the doors. It looks terrible. But weren't we just told back in July of this year that there weren't going to be doors? There were going to be the magical creatures to stay woke, to stay diverse, to stay in any way possible away from maybe looking bad with dwarves maybe well if you don't remember back in july of this year uh there was an exclusive from the daily mail.co.uk and it was a whole article and this is what they showed they stated that this these characters here this was a behind the scenes look at the upcoming snow white and it even states in the article that there are some stand-ins, including this woman here, who is not Rachel Ziegler, but a stand-in for Rachel Ziegler. There are some mixed reports going on right now that these photos were fake, that these were not real, these were not part of the upcoming Snow White film, that it was just something going on. But, you know, oddly enough, like, they're walking, and they're, they're here, and, you know, when you're talking about shots that are from a distance, you know, it's very possible that they could have been utilizing stand-ins for much of this as you see like look at all this this is nuts you know look at that and you know here's the the crew that's shooting it again is this real is it not i think it was i truly believe that what they were shooting what they were making that this was for the snow white film i think when the backlash came about all of this they needed to save face and say whoa 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 no 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 and now they've gone and done a complete reverse and have done a Sonic. They've pulled a Sonic just like Paramount did where they showed us images of Sonic and we saw this horrible looking rendition of everybody's favorite hedgehog. And when the fans, you know, were in an uproar, they went back and changed it and gave us the Sonic that we all know and love. I think they kind of did that here with Snow White too. I think they went ahead and said, you know what? You know what? We're going to make them doors. Because look how bad the CGI is with these dwarves. Look how bad it is. And why would they not have said from the very beginning when those pictures came out, oh, that's not what it's going to be. They are dwarves. No, the entire time they were behind this idea that, oh, yeah, they're seven magical creatures, not dwarves. Seven magical creatures. Then you have actual dwarves, actual small people, little people. Who are coming out and, and, and pushing against and, and calling Disney out. And what do they do? Nothing. They stay silent. For months. For months they stay silent. And then we get this on the day that they push it back. Because obviously all the controversy surrounding Rachel Ziegler and her terrible political views and her terrible views on the character. The fact that she's not even a white, a snow white skinned girl. That she is Sandy Brown, a, a Latina actress. Uh, and who cares that, you know. Bent Key, Daily Wire's newest, mm, newest kids programming, uh, streaming service, coming out with their own Snow White and the Evil Queen, which is going to be starring Brett Cooper, who, by all accounts, is far better for the role than Rachel Ziegler is. So when you sit back and you take a look at all of this, it's hard to to see anything else but. Disney is trying to save face. Disney is trying to fix something that everybody pushed back on. 
I'm surprised they have yet to cancel this with all the controversy surrounding Rachel Ziegler, but perhaps they put too much money into it already and they don't feel like it's a good, good idea to cancel it. But, you know, they pushed it back an entire year. I can get maybe pushing it back a few months due to the actor's strike, but it seems like with the fact that this movie was to come out in March, just, what, four months away? So we're, we're supposed to come out in March, and the CGI looks this bad. It truly makes me believe that this movie is being redone in multiple ways. Uh, because of everything going on. But I want to know what you think. What do you think about all this? Because it is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that it's come down to this. That Disney is stooping to this level and looking foolish while doing so. Ben Key's Snow White and the Evil Queen is going to eat this movie alive. If they stay true to the Grimm's uh, old fairy tale, it's going to do vastly better than what Disney has in store. But let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you think. Are you interested in this? Are you surprised? Do you think that this is legit? Like, do you think that they are, they're pushing it because of them trying to save face and trying to fix the product before it comes out? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe. With all that said, I'll talk to all of you later.